All right, we're here uh, at the AJA booth with Bryce Button. Um, obviously, you guys have one of the most exciting announcements at NAB with a camera, which looks awesome. Tell us about it. Yes, uh, we've been very proud today to give birth to the new Scion. And the Scion is our first production camera. And as you can see, it is a very ergonomically uh, designed camera. Um, and it's got all our best technologies thrown into it. So taking 21 years of history, trying to pay honor to what's happened in the film industry in the past, and really blend the best of today's technologies. So what you're getting is a camera that does true 4K, Ultra HD, uh, HD of course, and 2K, records to ProRes, so right here to our pack drives, which we've had out for a while with the Keypro Dock, not accidental of course. So that can come straight out of here and play in the world's best 4K playback, which is uh, the Keypro Quad as well. The other wonderful thing is that we're very aware of the fact that people needed something that was going to handle high frame rate, because what we found is that there's interest in the resolution, yes, but there's also resolution interest in the high frame rate, especially for sports broadcasting. Um, so we actually support our AGA RAW format, and that comes out over the four 3G SDIs, if you want 120 frames per second of 4K, or even off of the uh, Thunderbolt, you can get 30 frames per second, which is pretty great. And on the ProRes recording itself, you can get uh, 60p, up to 60p, or uh, ProRes 422. And it's important for folks to understand that we support every format of ProRes. So whether that's proxy, LT, 444, pretty remarkable. Yeah. And all of this is in a box with open connectivity. There's no proprietary connections here. You might have your XLR setups from your previous audio equipment, uh, HDMI, SDI, and all of these ports are live at the same time as well. So we have a dedicated down convert HD SDI, so even if you're shooting at 4K, you can have an HD monitor on set. We have HDMI output, which is 4K as well, so you can go into a cheaper 4K display. And everything's positioned sensibly, so as you see here, we've actually put a power tap or P tap right up front, so to drive something like an electronic viewfinder, you don't have to have cables swinging all over the place. Uh, audio's on top here, so that it's out of the way of the operator. If I swing this round for you now, we realize that not everybody's on a feature film and got millions of dollars of uh, assistance and DITs and everything lying around. So on this side, this is the operator side, everything you need is there. So it's a confidence monitor, it's the ability to move through a very flat menu system with a rotary dial, so it's quick, you're not wasting time. Um, and again, the audio stuff's back here, so if it's over the shoulder and a director or is checking it, they can see if something's going wrong with the audio you know, for a halt. And perhaps one of the most exciting things is actually the backplane here. We're unique in the business because we've been producing embedded Linux systems in our recorders forever. We've got LAN connectivity. That allows a couple of really key things. I can control everything on this camera from a web browser on any platform. You don't need special software. You just basically put in the IP address for the camera and you can control it all, and you get a live video preview. So this might be up on a crane somewhere, you're sitting there on your laptop going, hmm, that's a good shot, maybe not so good, maybe I'm changing frame rate, and work through it. So a very, very simple and elegant solution from top to bottom in terms of the way this camera's been designed and thought through. This is a very cool product, and yep. I'm really excited to, uh, can't wait to actually test it out when we get a demo unit at a key code. Uh, so tell us, what else are you guys announcing here at uh, NAB? Well, to go along with um, you know, raw recording, etc., we've brought out a new mini converter, which is called the Lightbox. Okay. And the Lightbox means that it's going to make your life with a director a little simpler. In other words, when you're recording uh, log or raw files, for instance, they often look gray on a typical monitor, right? Because you're not seeing the full dynamic range because the monitor isn't capable. So putting it in line as an SDI in, we support simultaneous SDI out with HDMI, and you can load 3D LUTs. So a LUT is a lookup table. It describes the way an image should look for a particular display. And that way, the director can look at something that he's comfortable with while the cameraman is getting on with the work of capturing that material that is required. Uh, so that's a great little box. 
we also have the new FS1X. So we, we've always made uh, fantastic converters. And the FS series is a frame synchronizer family. And within that series, we built multiple stream capabilities, etc. What's new about the FS1X are two key things. Full frame rate conversion. So for folks doing PAL, NTSC, needing to convert from 720p to 1080, it supports all the backwards and forwards conversion you could need. And the second big feature with it is support for MADI audio. So if you're not uh, familiar with MADI audio, MADI audio is a simple connection that can happen over a single coax cable or a fiber cable. It's 64 channels of audio on a single cable. And of course, with people now doing broadcasting from sports events such as 5-1 sound, 7-1 sound, there's a lot of audio being moved around. And all of uh, those channels, including our typical analog channels, AES, etc., can be combined. So you have a matrix of 224 channels by 224 that you can spin wherever you need them to go. So for mobile trucks, uh, this is huge. It's going to everything from college sports to NFL. Uh, so that's pretty darn exciting. Well, thanks, Bryce. My pleasure. Thank you.